Hello guys, here in this video I will be explaining my F2 car. So it's the 2019 uh, FI F2 uh, that is currently driving since last year. It's a new homologation, it's different to uh, the GP2 that has been driving before. We have uh, this year, this year's car is around 5.2 meters long. It's about two meters wide. It uh, has 620 horsepower, same amount as the GP2 car just that this year we drive with a V6 and a single turbo, uh, while it's in the GP2 they had a V8 engine. So uh, yeah, you know, the, the, the sound and stuff is a bit different, obviously, but it's uh, still creating a lot of horsepower and a lot of, yeah, just speed on, on, on the track. In general, the car is a lot heavier uh, than the F3 car that I've been driving, driving before. It now weighs 755 kilos with the driver, uh, compared to 580 kilograms uh, with a driving F3. So in general, it's uh, yeah a lot heavier. Driving style is a lot different. We have the turbo that is hard to manage. Uh, we have quite a big turbo lag, which uh, you know makes it hard to yeah to feel when the power will kick in. So that's also something that adds on uh, you know to to kind of try and figure out the best way to save tires. It's not easy because of the, the added you know, turbo, we get wheel spin at, at parts where we usually don't. So it's, uh, it's very complicated, but very interesting, and I, I do like it. So uh, it is, in general, a different philosophy of driving. We have you know, more to V the corners, so it's braking late, turning around the car, going out again. We have carbon discs, which obviously perform in a, in a high window, so it's mainly I would say around the 700 uh, degrees, which is very hot. And uh, you know, it, if it goes lower, the potential of uh, overshooting is very high. And so the, the brakes won't perform the same way as if they're in the, in the right temperature, uh, in the, the right temperature window, they should run. But what is good about it, we can go also a lot hot, like harder on the brakes. So we, it means that the temperature we can reach in, a, in, a, in the top level is higher. Uh, so following a car, it for sure helps, and, uh, and there is the potential of staying closer for longer. In general, I think what we can say compared to the GP2 car is we have more downforce, we have a bigger rear wing, uh, we have a bigger front wing, and we have added flaps. So basically, in terms of looks, it looks a lot closer to the F1 uh, these days than, uh, than the GP2. Uh, we have the front nose that goes down a lot steeper now which obviously is a safety add-on and we have the halo and Cylon panels in the, the chassis which keeps the driver safe. In general what can I say about the inside of the car it has a lot of space I mean I'm not the biggest or tallest driver uh, in the field and I, I'm, I'm very comfortable in it I think that uh, Sean from what I heard was also pretty pretty good in it uh, better than the GP2 so um, I think that there, uh, it was suitable for the drivers that are very tall and, and it helps them to get comfortable in a, in a, in a car and that's very important at, at the end to be comfortable and to be able to drive it 100% the whole time. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you soon.